Good morning, grade 7. So today is August 9, 2021. So let me check the attendance first. Group 1 leader, can you report? Are you complete? Okay, very good. Group 2, okay, complete, very good. Group 3 leader, very good. And last, group 4, very good also. You are all present. So with that, let's start our class today. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, grade 7. Welcome to our virtual mathematics class. Today, our lesson is all about sum of interior angles of convex polygon. Are you ready? Okay. So before we start, may I ask somebody to lead the prayer? Thank you so much. Yes. Gabriel, can you lead first the prayer? Okay, thank you, uh, Gabriel, for leading the prayer this morning. So with that, let's start our lesson. Everybody be attentive. So I have different pictures here. So what do you call this? Very good. Uh, yes, yes, LMA. This is Rizal Monument. And this is attribute for Jose Rizal. And what about this? Yes, Gabriel. This is very good answer. Miss Quezon Memorial Shrine that attributes to Manuel L. Queso, that's perfect answer, Shaina May. And last one, what do you call this? Yes, Ella, very good answer. This is correct. Magellan's Cross, Santo Niño in Cebu. Okay, very good. You are all correct. So we thought, based on the different uh, figures that you have observed on your screen, you are going to identify the different shapes of polygon. Yes, Mark. What do you observe? Yes, very good answer. There are, what do what you call this? Yes, very good. This is triangle in Quezon Memorial Shrine. What about in the Rizal Monument? Yes, Mark. That is, it looks like a square. Very good. And yes, Shainami. Yes, correct. This is rectangle in Rizal Monument. And what about this in Magellan's Cross? Yes, Gabriel, very good answer. It looks like a hexagon shape. Your answers are all correct. So with that, we are going to have a game. Are you ready? Okay, so this is analytical thinker, Kaba. Are you analytical thinker? Just say yes in the chat box. Okay, very good. So you are all analytical. So let's check or let's test. Let's see how much you know about polygons. Are you ready? Okay, so let's uh, do the game. Kanaba, are you ready? Just say yes in the chat box. Okay, are you ready? Okay. So let's choose your answer. Number one, what is the sum of interior angles in the triangle? Yes. Okay, very good, Gabriel. That is correct. Letter C, 180 degrees. Next, number two. Be ready. Okay, you got it right. Next, number two. What do you call a polygon in which all diagonals drawn are inside? Okay, very good. Faster. Yes, Sophia, that is correct. That is letter D, convex polygon. You got it right. Next question. Be ready. Number three. What do you call a polygon with 10 sides? Yes, Mark, that is correct. Letter B, decagon. You got it right. Next question. How many sides of convex heptagon? Yes, LMA. Okay, you got it. That is letter C, seven. And you got it right. And for the last number, how many triangles are there in the convex pentagon created by diagonals? Yes, Sophia. Very good answer. That is letter B, uh, three. Okay, congratulations. So you are all analytical paper. So very good. So with that, so I have a review for you. What do you observe on this picture? Okay, I will present to you. This is the object. What do you notice about this? Yes, Mark. It look very good answer. It looks like a planet. Very good answer. What planet? What do you think of this? Very good. Yes, Mark. Yes, LMA. Yes, it looks like a Saturn. That is a perfect answer. Very good. 
So that is a Saturn, and that is the sixth planet and the second largest uh, after Jupiter. Very good answer. So I have showed this as a review. So if I draw uh, a line segment inside in the Saturn's hexagon, take note of this, huh? So since the it looks like a hexagon, right? So what if I draw here a line segment? Remember, what do you call this line segment? Yes, Gabriel. Very good answer. This is diagonal. Speaking of diagonals, can you give me the definition? What is diagonal? Yes, Mark. Sophia? Yes, very good, Sophia. That is a line segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices in the polygon. Very good. What do you think is the number of diagonals in the hexagon? Yes, anyone? Very good. Yes. How about Sophia? Very good answer. There are nine diagonals. So let's see. These are the possible diagonals. Take note of this. Two non-consecutive vertices should be draw. Okay. So meaning to say there are nine diagonals in a regular hexagon. And the formula, what is the formula of the uh, diagonals? Very good answer. That is n times the quantity n minus 3 divided by 2. And when you substitute, you get the 9 diagonals. And what about if I ask you what is the number of diagonals per vertex? This is the color red one. Okay, observe. What do you think? Yes, Sophia, very good answer. That is three diagonals drawn per vertex. And what is the formula? Yes, LMA, very good answer. That is n minus 3. When we're in n is the number of the sides. Okay, very good. So that is n minus uh, 3, or that is 6 minus 3. Very good. You recall the lesson. With that, this is our learning objectives today. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to. Can you read number one, Sophia? Okay, thank you. Number two, Mark. Okay, very good. Number three, Shaina. Okay, and last one, can you read number four? Very good also. So with that, these are the learning objectives that you are able to learn or achieve at the end of this lesson. Are you ready? Okay. So let's start. So with that, I have a activity for you. But before that, I will discuss first the rubric. The, the criteria are the following, the process skills, time management, cooperation, and teamwork, and neatness and orderliness take note of this be mindful of the four criteria of your group activity today today do you know your members group leaders okay very good so with that everybody first uh listen to the direction so you are going to draw a diagonals from vertex a okay you have uh assigned for group one two three and four different shapes of or that is the polygon right so you only have 40 seconds to perform the activity. Then with that, you are going to, after you draw a diagonals for vertex, you're going to complete the table. The two examples have been done for you as example to guide you, right? Okay, and then for group one, two, and three, and four, you're going to fill up the number of sides, number of triangles created by diagonals, sum of angles in each triangle, and sum of inter angles. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, write your answer in the chat box. If, are, you, are you ready? Okay, very good. So timer starts now. Okay, but wait, I forgot. The link uh, are already sent in the chat box. Okay, to enter in the Google Slides platform. Okay, so let's start. Then after that, you're going to discuss your output. You're going to present the output for each... Uh, group the leader will be the one to discuss okay take note of that leader ready go Okay, very good. Almost done. Let me check. Group two. Very good. Almost done. 
about group three. Okay, and group four. Okay, almost done. Okay, so everybody, time's up. So with that, let me check first your answer. Group leader, be ready with your presentation later after I read this. Group one, okay, very good. You're done with this, your diagonal drawn for vertex. And group three and four also, very good. So with that, you are going to discuss your group output. Okay, leader, group one, can you discuss your output now? Okay, very good explanation. How about group two, leader? Yes. Can you explain now? Okay, very good explanation. Very clear. And group three, can you discuss now? Very good also. Very ex well explained. And group four, can you explain now? Very good. You are all... Uh, when it comes to presentation, you are all uh, very well when it comes to the presentation also. Okay, so give club to all of you, virtual club. So with that, so based on the activity that you have performed today, I have a questions. Okay, actually there are five questions. So look at the number of sides of each polygon and compare it to the number of triangles created by its diagonal. What do you notice? Yes, Gabriel. Very good answer, Gabriel. The number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. And what do you think is the formula? Yes, Mark. Very good. That is N minus two. Remember, you recall the uh, review. Okay. And that is N, right? Okay. Next, for number two question, what pattern did you notice when you were finding the sum of interior angles in each polygon? Yes, LMA. Very good answer. That is, the sum goes up by 180 every time you add a side to the polygon. Okay. And uh, we also have number three. What do you think is the formula in finding the sum of the interior angles of a polygon to the pattern that you have observed? Yes, Shaina. Very good answer. That is correct. Quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180. That is the formula. Take note of that. Next question followed up. What do you think is the n quantity n minus 2 represent? Yes, Gabriel. Very good answer. The number of triangles created by diagonals of the polygon. Okay, so you get it? Now, number four question, what do you think the 180 degrees represent? Yes, Sophia, very good answer. The sum of the angles in each triangle, take note of that, in any triangle, the sum is always 180. Okay, and last question, how do both parts of the formula help you to find the sum of the interior angles in a polygon? Yes, Shaina, very good answer. That is correct. It is multiplying the number of triangles by the sum of angles in each triangle to find the sum of all interior angles in the polygon. So, okay, give clap to all of you. So, you discovered the formula. Very good. And with that, so I have a different pictures here. You are going to determine the sum of the interior angles of a polygon in each figure. Remember, what is the formula again? Yes, Mark. Very good answer. The formula is quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180. And I have a picture here. What do you call this? Very good. Yes. How about Sophia? That is correct. Triangular flower garden. And what's the shape of this? That is a triangle. And what is the sum of the interangles? Yes. Mark. Very good. That is 180 degrees. How about the second picture? Yes. Shaina. Very good. This is rectangular swimming pool and what do you think is the sum of the interior angles yes shaina very good answer that is 360 degrees how did you get that very good you apply the formula at quantity n minus 2 times 180 and last picture okay what do you call this yes gabriel very good that is hexagonal lampshade and what do you think is the sum of the interior angles yes sophia very good that is correct 
720 degrees. So meaning to say, we are going to apply the sum of the interior angles of a polygon to find the unknown. Okay, take note of that. How are we going to find the unknown measure of the interior angles using the sum of the interior angles of a polygon? Yes, Sophia, very good answer. Just simply add, okay, take note of that. So what if I have here a picture? Okay, what do you call this? Yes, yeah, Sophia, this is a kite. Very good. And uh, this is a four-sided polygon. With that, if I put uh, the angle measure here, this is angle A, B, C, and D. Take note of this. Unknown measure, the unknown measure of angle A is you're going to find. How are you going to find the missing angle? Okay, yes. Any idea? Yes, Mark. Very good answer. You're going to add all the interior angles and then what next yes sophia very good answer you're going to subtract the sum from from what yes gabriel 360 how did you get 360 gabriel very good because that is the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral perfect answer so with that so to solve this your answers are all correct no so i will show you my solution Okay, so since this is quadrilateral, the sum of the angles is 360. So we need to say to find the angle A, which is unknown, you're going to add all the three angles given in the interior and therefore substitute and then the sum of these three angles subtract to subtract 360. That will become 360 plus the 275, which is negative. Because remember, you apply the addition property of equality. And therefore, the remaining angle now is 360 minus 275 degrees. That is 85 degrees. Remember, that is now the answer. But how are we going to check whether we get the correct answer or not? Yes, Sophia. Very good. You're going to check by substitution. Okay. And let's check. You, if you add this for um, interior angles, that is equal to 360. Therefore, the answer is 85 degrees. Okay. How about this picture? Yes. Can you read the problem first, Gabriel? Okay. Thank you. So with that, let's analyze first the problem. What do you mean by symmetrical? Yes, Sophia. Very good. Similar. What else? Reflection, very good. What else? Same, perfect answer. When we say symmetrical, this is similar, meaning to say if each base angle measures 40 degree with the horizontal, this is the illustration of this. Everybody take a look at this. And if this is 40 degrees, since they are symmetrical or same, this is also 40 degrees. To find the uh, angle tip of the rule, how are we going to find that? Very good. Using the concept of the sum of the interior angles. And what are we going to do first? Very good, Sophia. You're going to write the equation. Meaning to say, x plus 40 plus 40 is equal to 180 degrees. And then, what are you going to do next? Yes, Gabriel. Add the two angle measure, which is uh, 40 plus 40 is 80. Degrees. Then apply the, very good, Sophia. Addition property of equality. Okay, then it will become cancel. Therefore, what is 180 plus negative 180? That is correct, 100 degrees. Okay, to check that, just simply substitute to the given equation and that will become 180 is equal to 180. Therefore, that is the value of the unknown interior angle of a root or the tip of the root. Okay, very good. So with that, another example, Okay, how are you going to solve the measure of angle X? Anyone? Yes, Sophia. Oh, what's your answer? Yes, very good. That is correct. 115 degrees. How did you get that? Can you explain? Yes, very good. So first is you are going to, very good. You're going to add all the interior angles and subtract the sum from, very good, from the sum of the angles, which is the 540 degrees. Okay, so to show that, this is my solution. So since this is pentagon, the sum of the interior angles is 540. Take note of that. 
and substitution, we have 124 plus 111 plus 90 plus 100. That will become the sum is 425. And you're going to transpose, You meaning to say, you apply the addition property of equality. That's why x is equal to 540 degrees minus 425 degrees. That will become 150 degrees. So, so we have got the correct answer. So with that, let's check okay, whether your answer is correct. That is equal to 540, meaning to say the answer is 115 degrees. Okay, did you get that? May I see? Yes. Okay, write your answer in the chat box if yes. Very good. You got it right. So with that, so I have a quiz for you today. There are four questions corresponding to this box. Are you ready? Okay. So with that, so you are going to do the quiz for 20 seconds per question. Okay, I will send the link in the chat box. So with that, okay, so did you enter in the link now? Just say yes in the chat box. Okay, so let's start. Number one, can you choose a number, Gabriel? What number? Be ready. You're going to... Be ready with your uh, solution. Okay, so let's check what number are you going to open. Number two, let's check. Okay, find the unknown interior angle. Okay, so what letter is your answer? That, that S. Let's check. That S. Letter D, very good answer. Correct. How did you get letter D or 98? Can you explain? Very good explanation. Next number, can you open the box? Yes, yeah, Sophia, what number would you like to open? Number one, let's open. Okay, ready? What is the measure of unknown interior angle? Okay, compute. Every, everybody compute. Yes, yeah, Sophia, what is your answer now? Letter? B, okay, very good. That is correct. How did you get letter B or 90? Yes, very good, correct. Next, number three, can you open? LMA, box three. Okay, be ready. Find X. What's your answer now? Let's check letter C. Check now then. Okay, very good. That is correct. Next, number four. Okay, no. Ready? Yes, Gabriel, can you? Compute now. Be ready. Gabriel, what's your answer? Letter B. Let's check. Very good answer. That is correct. 120 degrees. Okay. So with that, write your answer in the chat box if you get 4 over 4. That's a perfect score. Let me check now in the chat box. Very good answer. You are all correct. So with that, you're going to... Uh, Go back to our Google Meet link. Okay, so with that, based on the activities that we have today, this is my question, everybody. If one or two of your group mates were absent today, how would you summarize or relate to them our lesson? Yes, Sophia. Very good answer. You are going to tell the lesson. What And what would you tell to them? Yes, very good, Mark. You're going to tell how to find the unknown interior angles using the sum of interior angles. And how are you going to find the unknown angle? Yes, Gabriel, very good. Just simply add all the given interior angles and then subtract from the sum of the interior angles to find the remaining unknown. Very good answer. And what is the importance of being relaying the lesson to your classmate? Yes, Gabriel. Very good. To help your classmate despite of this pandemic. Very good answer. You are going to help one another to help your classmate in this time of pandemic because we are in the new normal. Take note of that. So with that, I'm very happy with your answer. So, so this is your assignment today. You're going to answer this uh, Google form, which is composed of 50 items regarding on the lesson. Some of the interior angles of convex polygon. I will show you this is already posted in our Google Classroom. 
Okay, take note that it is. You only have one. Uh, okay, take note of this. You, how, you only have one limit to response this. Be review first. And this is your performance task today. You're going to create selfie art for trying polygons in real life. You apply the polygons that we have discussed. Be creative of your selfie art for trying polygons. And this is the link for your uh, performance task. Just click NCCA Paper Prep Series as your guide to do the activity or the performance task. Any questions so far? Group leaders? Any questions so far? Your group members? Okay, if there is no question, that is all for today. We'll see you next meeting. Goodbye and keep safe, everyone.